this week, uh, the Ghostbusters film finally came out with the four Ghostbuster ladies. Now, a lot of people were very critical about this. I myself was in the beginning, as you can see, when I was a kid, boom, that was me when I was dressing up as a Ghostbuster when I was in high school. <laughs> Nerd alert! <laughs> anyway, and I still do it to this day. But I saw the movie, it changed my mind, but there's still a lot of people out there who are critical about it. And here are two such people. Please welcome from men's right activist, Chad and Chad. <laughs> Chad and Chad, so I guess it's safe to say you did not see the new Ghostbusters movie. <laughs> Definitely not. The central focus of our men's rights advocacy group has been to protest and boycott the new Lady Ghostbusters movie. Yeah, casting those women is like an insult to the original real Ghostbusters. I'm talking about Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, <laughs> Harold fucking Reynolds, man, and Ernie. The he doesn't even need a last name. That's Ernie Hudson? People. No, Ernie Hudson. Yeah, 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 yeah. The greatest. He is the greatest. I'm glad you remembered. You know, but seriously, I will say this, you know, the original Ghostbusters, the surviving ones, you know, they gave the movie its blessings by even, even showing up in the movie. We wouldn't know, Philip. Wow, you are really gung-ho on not seeing the Ghostbusters movie. Well, I mean, I saw it. But only, you know, so I could like boo it. What, what? Wait, you saw it? Does that mean you sort of support it? I mean, I guess, like, they do get my money and whatnot, but, like, I only went there so I could, like, ruin it for the people that were there to, like, have fun, dude. And you hated it, right? Yeah, dude, like, I, I like, I hated most of it. Most of it wasn't, like, a very good movie. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> most of it? Well, I'm, I'm not, dude, like, I hate it. It was such bad, like, there's so many, I don't even remember, like, okay, here's the deal. Uh, <laughs> There was this like one part where it was like, ah, and then Leslie Jones is in the subway tones. Like, oh like, man, man, my head explodes, dude. Was, yeah, dude. everybody in the theater last night loved that part. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, other, other Chad, other Chad. Did you see the Ghostbuster movie? Uh. Dude, you said you had sick Dave Matthews tickets that night. <laughs> yeah, I, I did, but they, they fell through. So I so I went to the movies instead. Really? But I but I didn't go see Ghostbusters. Oh really, really? What movie did you see then? Uh The Secret Life of Pets? Mm. Oh really? What's the Secret Life of Pets about? Um it, it's takes place that they're, they're driving around in this mm. car, it's, it's four lady pets and they <laughs> they bust. You um, went and saw Ghostbusters, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> What, what, were you booing too? No, I sat quietly and enjoyed it. <laughs> ah, dude. We like failed our boycott, dude. It's like we're an embarrassment to like the men's right movement, man. <laughs> I think the men's right movement is an embarrassment to the men's rights movement. I mean, it was actually a pretty fun film. I mean, it's at least better than the second one did. Oh, I know, man, with the talking painting and the slime, like, uh, get the fuck out. Uh, so you really turned around on the Ghostbusters. Does this mean you've changed your stance on women? Nah. I mean, you know, it's just one film. And at the end of the day, you know, we're still going to have, like, our deep insecurities and, like, manifest a bunch of hatred towards women in, like, other ways. Yeah, like fighting for the right to marry our fedoras. Chad Chad, everybody! <laughs> Let's wish them and their fedoras much happiness. And finally... Monday marked the 212th anniversary of the duel between Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr. And Tuesday also marked the 212th anniversary of Burr saying, I hope they turn this into a really cool hip-hop musical in the future. 